Welcome back to the channel. Today is a pretty exciting day because I'm getting the charger over to the junkyard so I can start putting all of the drivetrain in it. So what I'm gonna do first is load her up on the trailer, but the plan for today is, is to get everything into the charger so I can measure front and rear drive shaft lengths so I could send those lengths off to the drive shaft shop and get everything with that made so then I could continue to bolt the rest of the drivetrain in. I'm also gonna put new rotors, new pads in the rear, and then we can put the front brakes on and we can just get everything buttoned up. I also almost forgot I need to throw the MagnaFlow exhaust in the car and then I'm gonna hook up the parking brake cables and we'll be 100% done in the rear. We'll have the drive shaft lengths and then once we get those drive shafts, she is gonna run and drive and I cannot wait for the first drive. Charger finally loaded on the trailer. It was a little bit of a different experience loading her backwards just because the front subframe is out of that wrecked car and it wants to do all kinds of crazy stuff steering going backwards. So it took a little bit of time, but she's up there. Hopefully it's the final time I have to pull her on with the winch. Hopefully next time I could just drive her on a trailer. I don't think I'll be able to drive her to get alignment because all the suspension is going to be very, very far off. But let's get her over the junkyard, get everything in the car, get the drive shaft lengths measured so then we can have brand new drive shafts finally made. And that is a big old booty. Ah! Need to grab something from Dodge over here. Like that? Oh, yeah, that's it's, our, it's, it's a Charger wide body. It has Trackhawk drivetrain in it. From a Jeep? What yeah, happened? all wheel drive. Did you, did you buy it like this? No, I built, I made everything on this car. Oh, yeah, I just need to, I need to see if parts had something. So I was taking this over to put all the front drivetrain in it. So is it the same engine, everything? Yeah, it's a Hellcat engine. A yeah, take a picture. So, yeah, it has the. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I'm a little familiar with fabricating. I don't do any of it, but I watch a ton of YouTube. So. Oh man, here, here's all the. The techs. So I made custom subframes for the front and the rear to hold all the drivetrain stuff, okay. but I made all the sheet metal. I yeah, used the. <laughs> so it's a Charger wide body converted a wagon with Trackhawk drivetrain in it. Nice. Is this the one you're building those knuckles for? Yeah. Okay. Oh. So, right. so yeah, I. How much of it was just like plug and play? None. Is Zero. The drivetrain, none of it? Nothing. Yeah, if you look under the back, it's all tubular subframes. The front one I'm putting in, that's why I'm taking it over the junkyard. So, so the inner structure's charger, the upper upper inner structure is Magnum. It sits right into the charger inner structure since it's the same unibody. Wait, wait, did you use some stuff from an old Magnum? Yeah, yeah. The the glass, the rear upper glass, and then half the roof is Magnum. The half front is. Charger, and then it's a carbon mold that I made, so it was a carbon fiber back, roof. Back them for like 10 or 12 years, right? Since 08, yeah. Right, let's go inside the parts. Finally back at the junkyard. So it has been a very, very, very long time. The last time the Charger was at the junkyard was when I finished grafting all the stuff and parts before I took it over to the body shop to start doing all the metal work, all the body work. It's been a very, very long time. So it's been sitting at home, but what I want to accomplish today is I want to bolt this subframe into the car with the differential. I'll bolt the block into the subframe as well, bolt the transmission to it. Then I could get, and the transfer case, <clears throat> then I could get all of my drive shaft lengths. I also have a ton of parts that I need to put on the charger like I've done before with Hellcats. Um, you know, I've been lifting cars up on this lift for quite some time, but the last time, you know, the Magnum fell off of it, which I don't want a chance, like I've said before, with this car or, you know, the Hellcat or anything because they're a lot heavier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the lift to lift the car up just enough to be able to put the subframe in, put the drivetrain in, but not enough to actually be able to like stand under it because I'm still, you know, I've used it, haven't had any issues. The bolts, you like I said before, were loose, but with all the time and effort I have in this car, there's no way I'm gonna let it, you know, fall off the lift because it is just too much work to chance at and risk it. So let's get this thing straightened out a little bit, get it under there, get the arms under there, get her lifted up a little bit, 
and then start bolting everything in and get all these drive shaft lengths measured so I can finally get the drive shafts made. And once that's all done, I can bolt all of this stuff in. Still need to powder coat this. I can figure out the steering shaft setup. I think I have a pretty good idea. I'm just going to actually design something last night so it moves the steering shaft from the steering column all the way over and up and I think that'll work perfectly and then I'm going to put the shorter steering shaft onto the Trackhawk rack from a charger so it's not four inches or five inches long or whatever it is it'll only be like an inch long which will help me out you know a lot with clearances and everything in the I'm super excited about the charger now because I have all the Trackhawk drivetrain bolted in with the tubular subframe. This was a lot of work. The people that have been following the channel and following the build and following all the videos have seen how many parts I've had to make and fabricate and engineer, design, do over and over and over again. But we now have the Trackhawk drivetrain in here. We have the Hellcat engine, 8 HP 95, the biggest and strongest Dodge transmission that they make, the transfer case, the front diff, the rear diff, we are ready to go. So I sent off to have the drive shafts made. And one thing I was kind of concerned about was this axle coming out. So I did change this design quite a few times in the whole steering shaft, the steering shaft situation, changed everything quite a few times, move stuff forward and back. We are perfect. We can see that the factory all wheel drive charger hump right there is in line perfectly with the Trackhawk differential. The Trackhawk drive shaft, I can't use the factory one because I had to extend the drive shaft. I moved the diff in the steering rack forward um, quite a bit. So we're gonna have aluminum drive shaft on the front, aluminum drive shaft in the rear. The front drive shaft ended up being quite a bit longer and the rear drive shaft ended up being quite a bit shorter. So I can't wait. I'm working, not really working with a company, but I called a bunch of different companies and they really didn't want to work. They, they really, you know, they're like, we're months out on these drive shafts. We have this stuff in stock, but it's going to take months for us to build them. Then I found this company that builds a bunch of Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk drive shafts and they hold a bunch of power. So I'll put a link in the description when I get the drive shafts, but they convert the CV style to a U-joint 
which he said the U joints hold up to a lot more power than the CVs and they look really good. So I'm gonna go to a four inch drive shaft in the rear and to a three inch drive shaft in the front, but I cannot wait to actually have the drive shafts bolted in here, all of this stuff bolted in so we can do the wiring, fire her up for the very first time and finally take the Hellcat Charger Wagon for her maiden voyage. It's getting very close, I'm getting very excited. I've been building this car for a very long time. I cannot wait to drive her, but I'm gonna end the video here. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time. <laughs>